Well, ladies and gentlemen, this movie wasn't made for you. They know that, but they've got to hook you somehow. How are they going to get you to watch this absolute travesty of a film? By teasing you with some Deadpool 3, allegedly. The Marvels. Feige adds a last-minute Hail Mary. Yeah, that's right. Do you remember how Kevin Feige convinced everyone to watch Captain Marvel? Yeah, it was to say that it was uh, incredibly important to Endgame. Uh, there would be elements to that movie which would play out in Endgame. And if you didn't watch it, you know, you'd be missing out. You would miss out on something. Artificially generating hype for a, for a film no one was interested in. Uh, and now that the chips are down, everyone's clear, uh, we sort of unified voice, I guess. Most people are not interested in the Marvels. Kevin Feige's at it again, playing his old tricks. And so people like me are calling him out on those dirty tactics and they are dirty tactics if this is true kevin feige you are redundant you are creative bankruptcy through and through and no one should believe a word you say moving forwards i understand it's a business but if you're creating films that do not generate you know audience insight they're, they're not interested in going to watch that movie itself teasing people with another movie in a post credit scene is what is bottom of the barrel nonsense, isn't it? This movie wasn't made for us. We've been told this time and time again, and yet we'll be, I don't know, condescended to, insulted for not watching it, because that's what they like to do. But hey, Deadpool 3 will be teased at the end, so I guess a load of M well, MCU cucks will go and watch it, perhaps. So let's have a look at this, right? Kevin Feige is indeed desperate. Uh, as Cosmic Book News notes here. And now it's learned that Kevin Feige and Marvel have added a last-minute Hail Mary to the Marvels. So the flick hasn't been tracking well at the box office. Uh, in fact, as bad as The Flash Money. And we know that that movie lost about $300 million, uh, or even more, potentially. So ticket pre-sales have been said to be a third of James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy, which only did well because of good word of mouth. This ain't gonna have good word of mouth, guys. So the opening box office is estimated to open at less than half of Captain Marvel. Brie Larson is even speculated to be leaving the MCU. Uh, and it's been said now that Marvel is freaking out and scared things are so bad. Well, stop making utter shit then. So the Marvels also apparently has the shortest runtime in the MCU. That's confirmed. So according to new rumours... Kevin Feige and Marvel have come up with a last-minute Hail Mary and added something to the Marvels to entice the fans. Oh, you best watch it, guys, because otherwise you won't understand anything in Deadpool 3. Ugh, fucking tired, played out, shit. So what is the last-minute surprise? Well, Kevin Feige's approach to Phase 4 and 5 has been a big mess and it doesn't connect at all. It's right, it's supposed to be about the multiverse. Yeah, well, where's that? So, from what has sort of well, leaked online, the Marvels isn't about the multiverse at all uh, itself. I did get an email from someone that's watched this film, but you know what? It's really not that interesting, and I couldn't be bothered to go into it. Genuinely, it's a very, very boring plot. But thank you to that individual that sent me uh, everything about this film. Um... So anyway, there's magic bracelet, powers, etc, etc. Essentially, Dar Ben, I'll give you a little spoiler, Dar Ben uh, is generating portals in space to steal sunlight and water and resources from planets, basically. Uh, and then everyone teams up to go beat her, I guess. And that causes an incursion, or essentially leads to an incursion. So there you go. There's a slight spoiler. Uh, allegedly, because I don't know if it is true. I've not um, corroborated it. So anyway, the rumour going round is now Kevin Feige's connected the Marvels to Deadpool 3 and Secret Wars. <sighs> so Deadpool 3 has been said to be basically a direct tie-in to Avengers Secret Wars. We know Hugh Jackman returns as Wolverine, so it's said Deadpool travels to the Fox Marvel Universe, which eventually leads to them ending up in the MCU. In Avengers Secret Wars, Owen Wilson and the TVA are also said to be involved in Deadpool 3. So what's, what's happening? How are they going to prick tease you into watching this part of crap? Regarding the Marvels, the movie doesn't connect to the multiverse. It does from that perspective. 
it would lead to an incursion if the source is right. Uh, and telling the truth that they did watch the movie. The rumours say Kevin Feige has added a post credit scene in the Marvels that will connect to Deadpool 3 and Avengers Secret Wars. So from scrolling through Twitter, one tweet said it's Kelsey Grammer's Beasts from the Fox X-Men movies. Uh, so if true, we see that would connect to Deadpool 3 and sort of Avengers Secret Wars. If not true, assume something different. Uh, and then they've updated the article and said, just thought of something. How did Feige add a scene as the actors are on strike? Unless it's a scene from Deadpool 3 that already has been filmed. We don't know. We have no idea. I love this little editor's note. Jeremy from The Quartering does not have permission to use this article. But, uh, I've uh, I've sort of breezed past that before and people have asked what the hell that is. I have no idea. I'm assuming Cosmic Book News and The Quartering don't get on. I have no idea why. Uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, this movie wasn't made for me, so I'm not going to watch it anyway. Because why would I? I mean, you know, this movie's not for me. They don't care what my opinion is of this movie. Marvel. Uh, look, at the end of the day, Marvel, Disney, whoever. If you are making such monumentally shit products, movies, that you've got to consistently tease people with a movie that you know people are interested in. Well, there's, there's your secret, mate. There's your secret source, Kevin Feige. Stop sodomizing everyone with pineapples and making them endure this pile of crap. That's essentially what it would feel like, I'm sure, watching this movie. Uh, and just give people the kind of movies that they want. Stop trying to artificially generate an audience from nothing. No one cares about this movie. No one cares about these characters. No one cares about, you know, uh, absolutely terrible... Ms. Marvel and Monica Rambeau. Monica Rambeau. No one cares about this. No one wants to watch this shit. So much so that if true, you have to tease them with a movie that they are interested in. We'll just make more of that, champ. How about that? How about we do that? How about we just make more of that? Stop making everything lame. Stop making everything gynocentric. You know, unless it's got big T's uh, and nice round A's. Right? Tits and ass. The main comic book movie audience is men feed their appetite. Stop spending $300 million on a pile of junk that no one's interested in. That's your business failing. And it makes you look like utter incompetent fools.